Hello there, I'm Chris, and today I want to show you how to do end-to-end -end debugging in Visual Studio Code of web projects. In this case, I've got a simple to-do app here, which is plain vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the first thing I normally do when I open that is I open it in the editor, and I go to my iTerm, and I start my local server. The thing here, though, is that the terminal is already built into Visual Studio Code, so you don't need to go to an extra app for that. So you're already in the right folder as well. So that makes it much easier to just start a local server here, in this case, my PHP server. And that means your app is now running on localhost 8080. So we can get rid of that and we don't need it any longer. I normally now would go to the browser and go to localhost 8080, open the developer tools there and do all the things that I would normally do when I debug my web projects. But the better option here is to actually get a dedicated browser instance by running and debugging this workflow here. So if I go to run a debug on an HTML document, it now opens a dedicated browser just for this project right now. It's linked to this file right now. So we want to change that to actually go to localhost 8080 instead. And that means my app is now running here inside that dedicated browser. This is my, uh, my, my browser of my operating system, in this case, Edge. I don't have any Chrome installed, so normally it could be Chrome as well or any other browser that's actually based on Chromium. So now when I interact with this one, you see that something interesting is happening down here at the debug console. A lot of messages are coming in. These are coming from my JavaScript. So this is my normally my console info, console log debugging workflow that a lot of people actually use. So this is the dedicated console of that browser inside the debug console Visual Studio Code. So you can actually interact with the window object here as well. And you can use the convenience methods like dollar to access, for example, the body. And that one gives you the information of the body inside that browser right now. You can also do things like changing the styles around. So in this case here, I can change the background to Peach Puff. And that means I can do all the things that I do in the console and the browser dev tools directly here from Visual Studio Code. And I don't go away from my main code. Console debugging is fun, but actually I like breakpoints more. So in this case, I have an add task here. I can set a breakpoint. And if I now add another task in my app, I actually jump into the breakpoint debugging workflow. You can read up on that. It actually gets you much more insights than the console info does. And it allows you to go step by step through the product and find out what's going on. So when there is something that you need to have more detailed information about, it's probably good to use breakpoint debugging because console info would lead to another console info to another console info to another console info. Now this is all fun and games, but this is something we had for quite a while. But if you use Edge as your browser, you also get this little inspect button here. And that's an interesting one. If I click that one the first time, I actually get asked to install an extension. This installs the extension. And once it's actually there, you can close that and go back to your code. And now if you click that icon again and give it more space, you get the developer tools of the browser right inside Visual Studio Code. So this one now opens this page that I have here and I can move around in the DOM and in the CSS and change the things like I normally would. So if I go to that search bar here, I could rename that to to do and it would change it to to do here as well. I can also go to the element that we changed here and use the more visual tools inside the browser developer tools to change that back to white. If I want to know which file that came from, I can link this file. I can link to this file here and click on that one. And that one opens the CSS file inside Visual Studio Code. And I get all the functionality of Visual Studio Code directly here. So what I get here is the normal developer tools from the browser, but in the instance of that browser and in the con in context of Visual Studio Code with all the cool stuff that Visual Studio Code comes from. The network is another thing as well. So if I reload that one here as well, I get insights into the network and if something loads, I can see what and debug what's going on there. Now, this is quite nice, but it's actually quite cumbersome to do that every single time. So the better option to do that is to actually go to the debugging workflow and say, create a launch.json file for me. If you create that launch.json file and you say edge launch here, you already get the PWA MS Edge and the localhost 8080. So next time you go through the debugging workflow, it automatically opens the browser for you and it has the developer tools already installed for you. So you don't need to go through that process every single time. This is a file that's just generated in your project for you. So you can do that by hand as well if you wanted to. 
but in essence, it's just something that might be easier for you to get generated. And that is end-to-end -end debugging in Visual Studio Code of web projects. You've got a terminal, you've got the console, you've got breakpoint debugging, and you've got access to the DOM and to the CSS editing. Anything else you need, please tell me about it. We can put this thing in there. It's open source, it's on GitHub, and we can extend these things as we want to.